Wednesday the 1st of February. Right, in the Manchester Evening News, there is a hotel down in Hale called the Britannia something something that has now been used for illegal immigrants to house them, feed them, give them basic uh, clothing and medical, which it states in the Manchester Evening News, because they're on a minimal, a minimal amount of money given to them by the government. Now, the thing that gets me, I'm going to make it really clear, right? I don't give a fuck about your skin colour, your religion, your culture, your race, what you do or what you don't do. What I do give a fuck about is this persistently happening across the UK when we cannot even address the issues of payment for paramedics, payment for hospital staff. We have waiting lists, six month, seven month. Some that have been forgotten because of uh, COVID are still waiting to go in for operations. Yet, yet, we have people who do not contribute in any way, shape or form to the UK getting priority treatment. Why is that right? Why is that fair? Myself and every single taxpayer in the UK, okay, whether you're white, brown, Asian, pink, green, doesn't fucking matter. We all contribute. We all put in. And we are all going through the same shit. When's the last time you could manage to see your doctor? Virtually impossible. Got a hospital appointment. How many times has it been cancelled? You need help. You want to use uh, the system. How many times has that system told you to go fuck yourself? And yet, and yet, illegal immigrants coming into the country are getting priority. How is this right? How is this fair? Was it last week or the week before where it was in the Manchester Indian News where they were saying, oh, should we charge people, tax paying people, hard working people to go to the doctors or the hospital? If that is the case, what do we pay for? What is the national insurance for? OK, and on the secondary level with a council tax, we pay for some services double and we do not get those services. How is this right? How is it right? How is it right that we are now third, fourth class citizens in our own country? Okay, I'm Scots Irish, all right? That's my ethnicity, and I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of the Scottish people and the Irish people and what we've gone through and what we've been through. I follow the laws in the UK, I pay taxes. I pay the national insurance. I try to be a good guy. I try and make my effort. I'm studying slowly to become a paramedic, okay? I want to give to my neighborhoods, you know, look after the people, take care of the needy and that, but it's not happening, right? Okay, that is not happening because I guarantee you, I'll be fogged off to somebody who has never contributed, never given. It's not right. When my neighbour next door is being persistently fogged off by the National Health Service and they send it to a pain clinic over and over and over again. When the re reality of the situation is she needs very, very serious care. But because of her age, She's no longer relevant. So that lady contributed all her life, put in all her life, gave all her life. White British, okay, gave all her life. And now this is how that same society, same government treat her. It's not right, is it? And then I look on the other side of it. I've got Asian mates. I've got Chinese mates. I've got Yardi mates, yeah? Albanian 
<laughs> I've got Afghani mates, right? I've got Uzbekistani mates, right? I've got Indian mates, people from Pakistan, you get me? But we're all in the same fucking boat and we're all struggling. And within our group, we all agree on the same thing. Why is it the issues within the UK are not being solved? But where it's concerned with illegal immigration, they're instantly priority number one, they're being housed, they're being fed, they're being looked after, and they're not paying for jack all. Please tell me how this is sustainable. Because they're wanting to tax us more. They want to take more from us. How is it sustainable? How is it even right? I don't want to know about the oh the legality of the European Union. European Union, you fuckers ain't doing your job. It clearly states that as an immigrant or refugee, you stay in the first safe country you manage to get to. That's not happening because they're just pushing them on, pushing them on, pushing them on. And France, France, mate, you French fuckers are nothing but a bunch of cowards. We all know what's going on in your streets in uh, in Paris. We've seen it. You've lost control. You are failing to protect your borders and you're actively encouraging people and fucking people smugglers to send people across the channel. The UK has had enough. The UK public has had enough. All right. I don't give a fuck about you woke brigade. Are you going to put them up in your house? Are you going to feed them? Are you going to clothe them? No, you're not. You won't. You're not. And when it comes to the deportation and removal of immigrants that have committed sexual crimes, serious crimes, horrendous crimes, okay? Not only to mention paedophilia, drugs, murder. They all quote the Human Rights Act. No, this should be removed within the United Kingdom and it should be removed for the safety and protection of the general public. How can someone who's committed murder here quote the Human Rights Act? No, deportation, see you later, don't come back. And it should be no long arbitrary court cases dragging it out and the to and fro in. They're not productive members of society. They've come here to leech on it, destroy it and break it. And let me stress a point, that's not every immigrant. I personally know some that have come over, they've struggled, they've made the effort, they've got fucking jobs and they're working and they're trying to be good people. But even with that group of people, if you have a chat with them, they will tell you themselves, a lot of people coming over are just here for the easy life. I am fed up of paying for these types of people. When I see the elderly on the streets suffering, sweating over the fact whether they can pay a fucking heating bill or have food. And I said this previously in other videos. I said it previously in other videos. The ambulance service is at breaking point. It's at breaking point because the government, oh, we don't have the money to give you pay raises, but you have the fucking money to fund and support illegal immigrants. Please explain to me how that works out. Explain to me how that works out, because it doesn't make sense to me, okay? I'm a hard-working motherfucker, man, and I'm studying, and I'm trying to do my bit. And yet I'm seeing this repeated over and over again, where the National Health Service, energy crisis, homeless crisis, seems to be swept under the carpet. I don't get it. This is not about racism. This is about common sense factors. Are you people fucking stupid? Look what is going on. Look what is going on. When I see my neighbour suffering and I see other people in the community, I'm in the Asian community. Okay, I'm in that community. 
but I get all over. And in every community, I see people suffering. Hard working, tax paying members of the United Kingdom not getting the services or the benefits that they are rightly entitled to. Yet, time and time again, we see illegal immigrants coming into the UK getting priority one service. This is not what I pay my taxes for. This is not what I pay my national insurance for. We can't even solve the fucking homeless crisis. The legal system is in favour in so many ways for illegal immigration. It is in favour for criminality. It's so hard to deport those that are committing crimes that are not from the United Kingdom. I give Poland one thing. I give you boys one thing. You come and pick your criminals up, mate. I remember in the uh, early 2000s and that, yeah, when Poland used to come with their aeroplane, all the guys that were arrested here that were wanted back home, they shipped them out and they fucking dealt with them. Respect. Hey, look at us here in the UK, allowing shit to happen. I don't get it. Too many woke people, too many pathetic individuals. You fucking cowards.